Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about Acme threads here and grinding a threading tool for them. And uh, watch some stuff lately on YouTube and there seems to be a little misunderstanding or lack of understanding of it or something anyway. But uh, this is how I do it and might help somebody out. Now, when you're grinding a regular tool bit, you're, uh, if you look at it from the front, it's basically like that uh, and uh, actually from the top it would look like that too because it's 60 degrees here it's 60 we could actually make that bigger and say across here is 60 degrees right now if you look at it from the front it's going to look almost the same you're going to have a little bit of relief on this side and a little bit on this side you only need maybe 10 degrees looking at it from the front so from here straight down across here would be 10 degrees and that'll give you enough clearance side clearance to cut a normal thread because normal threads are kinda you know they're not very much angle to them now, when you get into an Acme thread, whichever way you're going on it, it doesn't matter. But when you, if you got your shaft like this, your Acme threads, because they're for, they're quite coarse, are actually going like this. So as you can see, you got quite a bit of depth in here so when you put your cutter in if your cutter is ground to your 29 degrees and you're flat on the end of it so if we're looking at the top say we're going to come down like that 14 and a half degrees and across and back up right and then straight out and across here is 14 or 29 degrees 14 on either side what's going to happen is when you put it in this angle it's going to look like this and it's going to rub on this side so where it's not so critical on our standard threading on Acme threading you have to give significant side relief to fit into that thread so your tool looking at it from the front on the back side doesn't matter much you can put a little bit of relief or no relief in there because you're not cutting anything with it but your cutter and it goes flat across the front, now if I can make this look right, it actually has to have quite a bit of side rake on there and then flat across the top. But this has to fit so that when you're when you're in your threads, when you're cutting into your thread, the cutter is actually going to be shaped like this. So that you've got your clearance under here. So anyways, that's just a few thoughts on when you're cutting an Acme thread, left hand or right hand, whichever way you're going, you have to put more relief on the leading edge so that it fits down into the groove because don't your your thread is almost a box. Yes, it does have a little angle on either side, but it's flat in the bottom. So you can't go in with a square cutter because you'll rub on the leading edge. If you're going in with a form tool, it doesn't matter, you're going straight in but you still need some angle and if you wanted to get real technical you could grind it so that it it fit into the thread like this so that you you actually you'd actually have negative relief on the back side no reason for that unless you're making a forming tool if you're making a form cutting tool then you would want that just to have it sturdy enough to support the chip load so anyways that's a few thoughts on tool bit for Acme threads. So I'll grab the cutter and give you a little bit of a close up to show you what I did when I cut those number eight threads. So on here you can see the top of it. We'll try to get it so you can see 
give you one. Use the paper here. You can see the little flat on the end of it. Okay, you don't see anything underneath. Okay, and that's the back side because we're doing left hand threads. So we're cutting toward the right. And you can see there, there's a little bit of back relief because you got to have clearance for the minor diameter of your cutter. But on this side, you can see it's also got quite a bit of side relief on it. So if we point it at you toward that, like that, you can see the relief to the side so that as it cuts across like that, okay, or like that, you can see. We'll try to get it so you can see the relief on it there. Doesn't want to focus real good, but anyways, you can see the principle there. You can kind of see it there how that's formed so that as it goes across it's not going to rub on that leading edge when it's trying to go into a basically a, a nearly square bottomed groove so that's my little tutorial on Acme thread grinding